All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, before we start today, let us be clear that for those who chat, you are welcome to chat and to say whatever you wish, but any aggressive, hateful, or violent words or language is going to cause you to be banned from my channel. We are not here to call Muslim names. Uh, you, if somebody says something silly, say to him, you are silly. But there's no need to be stupid. And I hope that the Muslim, they will follow the same advice. <clears throat> Because we will treat everybody equally. So just please take a note. Otherwise, everybody is welcome and feel free to share your thought and your ideas. If we search in the internet, we find that there's thousands and thousands of videos about who is Allah. Who is Allah? <laughs> but not a single one of them can tell us anything about Allah nothing you can watch them all of them they will say to you Allah is the creator but Allah in the Quran he says he is the best of the creators so Allah himself he got you busted saying that he is not the only creator secondly Allah the creator but there is no witnesses of any creation he did and Allah is disabled and able so how he can be the creator Allah the creator but you do not know how the baby is created correctly he think that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone Allah is the creator who he think that the sperm transform into a dead blood Allah is the creator but he think that he placed mountains in the top of the earth Allah is the creator, but he do not remember which one he created first. In one chapter, he says the mountains, the earth, the water, the grass, the trees. Other verse, he says, totally the opposite. The sky, the stars, etc. And then at the end, the earth. So, the God of Islam is a collection of guessing information no witnesses no proof whatsoever and i would like to welcome any muslim to give me a call immediately if he think he can prove to us that allah is exist and he is real and which make will make muhammad and islam to be a real religion too if there is any muslim he feel like he can call me please follow free all the muslims no christians Give us your ID in Skype, if you don't mind to be live in YouTube. <clears throat> and this is the whole point, actually. We want people to hear your voice so you can explain to them, who is this God Allah? What is this God Allah? Look, tons of videos, but none of them is really. They don't know. Actually, Muslims do not even know what the word Allah means. You believe it? Have you ever heard of a religion? The followers of this religion, they don't believe they don't know what the name of their God mean. They don't know. Thousands and thousands of videos. All what they say to you, Allah is the creator. Nice to meet you, creator. Muhammad himself, he have no proofs, he have no witnesses. As an example, Muhammad he claimed that he went to the seven heaven. Seven heaven, they have to be seven. There is seven heaven and seven earth. Until now, we could not find neither the seven earth or the seven heaven. So Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. How he went? Even the Quran never mentioned that. Do you believe it? I mean, this book is a very funny book. Tons of his stories about Muhammad went to the heaven. An angel, he took him and he fly in the top of a donkey who have no wings. It was a sexy donkey and it was very white because there is no one can enter heaven in Islam unless it's very white, including the donkeys. If you go in chapter 17, verse number uh, one, this is the chapter of Al-Isra. It says that Allah, he sent 
or he took his servant at night to the second mosque okay where is the where is the trip to the heaven never mentioned have you ever heard of a god he forgot to mention the most important thing which one is more important to take you at our mosque or to take you to heaven like do muhammad go to the space every day muhammad he went to the space and when he came back he did not tell us he saw the earth is like it looked like a ball he did not tell us he saw the earth uh, in a certain shape he did not tell us that he he lost his weight he did not tell us anything except he rode on a donkey and the donkey is so huge and then he when he went to the heaven he found in the heaven the source of the water of the Nile River and Euphrates I mean how in the world he says such a thing all the rivers which is known in the south of Turkey north of Syria and Iraq and include plus the Nile River <clears throat> Muhammad he claimed that when he went to the heaven which is in the seventh sky he found that those rivers are coming from there Isn't it this is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a liar and he is not telling the truth? Imagine I say to you, I went, I mean, okay, I am Allah, worship me. What is the proof of Christian prince that you are Allah? Okay, I will say to you, I am the one who created the whole world. Or you say to me, I don't believe you. Prove it. I said to you, I will send you a guy, his name is Muhammad, and he will tell you that. <laughs> hey Muhammad I will take you to heaven and now I will show you heaven I took Muhammad to heaven and then uh, he in the heaven he discover where the Nile River is coming from isn't it this is alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is a false man do we have any nice Muslim gentlemen especially if you are a scholar I would like to see a Muslim claim to be a scholar with the beard. I like those guys with the beards because they are the easiest to demolish. Do we have anyone? So all this noise about the amazing Allah, the amazing prophet, the amazing etc. And then we find that the prophet, he is nothing better than Alice in the Wonderland. Actually, I can show you the tree of the wonderland of Alice exists in the Jannah. According to Muhammad, not to me. There is a tree in the heaven which is so huge. And Muhammad he came from underneath of that tree which means when you go fly with the angel of Allah the airport is the roots of that tree exactly as what happened in Alice in the Wonderland are we lying Muslims are we lying When the Messenger of Allah reached Sudrat al Muntaha, he said, Terminates everything that is scanned from earth and everything that is scanned from above. So there, Allah gave him three, which he did not give to any prophet. He made five prayer, which is obligatory for the upon him. He gave him the last verses of Surah Al Baqarah. <laughs> Hey Muhammad, I want to take, I want to give you this verse from the Surah Al-Baqarah. Take it with you. Okay. What do you mean he gave him the last verse of Surah Al-Baqarah? There was no chapter of Al-Baqarah anyway. There is nothing. It's called chapter of Al-Baqarah. Quran was not a chapter. This is long time after there's a chapters came to exist. And then he, uh, okay, hold on, guys, hold on. 
why we don't go and see what is the last verse in the chapter of al-baqarah shall we does it hurt because i am interested to see allah gave him the last chapter of al-baqarah the last verse last verse okay this is al-baqarah i'm going to see the last verse let us see why why this verse is important No one soul doth have Allah place a burden greater than it can bear. It gets very good that it it earn and it suffer. Every ill that it earn, our Lord condemn. Blah 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 blah. You can read the whole. But what, what? So why he gave him this uh, verse? What what this verse mean? If a Muslim want to say to me, Allah, he gave Muhammad five prayer. That's a false thing. Muhammad he did not receive five prayer. It was Moses who asked for discount. Allah gave Muhammad 50 prayer. Shall we see it? And it was the Jewish Musa businessman. He's a Jew. We know how to calculate, not like Muhammad. Uh, Allah gave Muhammad. Order to pray 50 times. And this is a story in the front of you. When Allah Messenger, he went, and by the way, we do not know how he gave it to him because Muhammad did not talk to Allah. Allah the Almighty, the Supreme, enjoined 50 prayer upon my Ummah. And I came back with that until I passed by Moses. I mean, oh, I, hold on. I want the Muslim to explain to me how Muhammad he passed by Musa's. What is Musa right now? Muslims, where is Musa's right now? According to Muhammad, Musa's is dead. Adam is dead. Actually, Muhammad, he will be the first one to be resurrected in the judgment day. Which means they are not resurrected yet. The only one is alive in heaven now is Isa, which is supposed to be Jesus. So Muhammad he met Musa's how? Not only he met with Musa's, he is talking to Musa's. Was Musa's a real Musa's? When Muhammad he said, I am going to be the first to be resurrected. Let us see if we can find the hadith in English. Uh, this one we did not find we will find different one give me a second you know I don't like to mention something without showing it because you know most of them they will say oh he is where well, where how so I don't I don't like to say anything without showing a proof uh, let us see Read carefully with me, please. Who is the first one will become unconscious or conscious? Sorry, <laughs> I mean, is dead, is a conscious, is asleep. He is going to be the first. And look how silly. This is statement. Anyone notice what the mistake of uh, what the silly mistake Muhammad he just made in this uh, story? Who want to help me here? Let us see who of you is really reading carefully. He will be the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. 
he will be the first one will be able to open his eyes okay anyone notice what is what is wrong oh Moses already there <laughs> how he is the first one he will be resurrected and he will open his eyes but yet right away he will see Moses holding one of the pillars of Allah throne Imagine I say to you, I am the first one to be resurrected. And when I open my eyes, I see Musa holding the pillars of Allah throne. That means Musa is there before me. He's not the first one. That is a very silly statement, but nothing new. That's Muhammad. He always win the competition of being silly. And this is the same story. A man from the Jews, having been slapped on his face, came to the Prophet. Oh Muhammad, a man from your companion, blah 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 blah. Okay, why you slap him? Blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, I said even above Muhammad, I I become furious. I slapped in his face. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and then look at this. Muhammad he said, in the day of resurrection, I will be the first one to be conscious. Then I will see Moses holding the legs of the throne. Allah have a throne and the throne has legs I will not know whether he has come to his sense before me or that shock had been received at mountain what is that <laughs> you just said you just confirmed that I will be the first Do you see it, Muslims? Uh, Zuha, Zuha, she is a Muslim lady. She is saying the prophet he hates sin. That's false. The prophet he encouraged sin. And he himself was a cheater. Isn't it your prophet? He said that in the judgment day, as long as we are talking about judgment day. All the sin of the Muslims will be forgiven anyway, which means go and do as much as you wish, and he will place the sin of the Muslims on the Christians. Are you there, Mrs. Zuha? Are you there? Let us show you the hadith. A person who says such a statement obviously he is encouraging sin because he's saying to you even if you have a mountain of sin read carefully guys is that me saying that this is sahih they cannot say this is sahih muslim sahih muslim sahih Ibn Maj. all of this is sahih hadith they cannot say they cannot say it's fabricated please be nice to uh, zuha let us not to be rude the messenger of Allah said Allah led those who came before us astray from Friday Saturday was Jews Sunday was for the Christians and they will leg uh, will leg behind us until the day of resurrection Allah even this mislead us Allah is a deceiver he mislead us even from taking a Friday because Allah chose a Friday for the best people hmm? and here if we read read the hadith with me please and this is Sahih Muslim Muhammad he said not me don't blame me for what your prophet he said there would come People among the Muslims on the day of resurrection with heavy sins as mountains and Allah would forgive them and he would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians so how Muhammad he said you are saying to me uh, Zuha the one in the chat the Muslimah 
that uh, Muhammad is against sin when he is saying to you don't worry sin as much as you want even if it's like a mountain Allah will take it and Allah will place it over someone else and specifically the Christians and the Jews and this proving Islam and Muhammad to be false again anyone remember why Anyone remember why? Why this this statement of Muhammad again proving Muhammad to be false? Hey, Zuhra, I don't care. Forgive them. They are sorry or not. As you see, Allah, uh, you come in the day of resurrection. This is in the day of resurrection, and you have the sin. So obviously, He did not forgive you yet. And what He will do? He will take your sin and he will place it in the Christians. But isn't it this is a contradiction for what Muhammad he said in different lie? The Muslim they say to us, is it fair that Jesus he died for our sin? Shouldn't a person pay uh, for his own sin? And actually, the verse we just read in chapter 2, verse number 8 to 6, it says, Allah will not make you bear. Is something you cannot handle all right okay why Allah will give the sin of the Muslims to the Christians is that fair in different verse in the Quran Muhammad he said the following all those verses saying that nobody will pay for the sin of somebody else all those verses look how many look how many let us take the last one because it's shortest easy namely that no barrier of burden can bear burden of another nobody can bear the burden of other and this is again a contradiction for this hadith and a contradiction for the Quran in different place why because Muhammad he claimed that in the day of judgment Allah will allow Muhammad to intercede so if nobody bear the sin of others what is intercession how Muhammad he can intercede and if nobody will pay for the sin of somebody else how Allah will place the sin which is like mountains in the top of the Christians this is why we see we see that Islam is really a, a kind of a, a silly cult. It's not even it, it cannot be qualified to be a cult. Usually, cults are smart. Cults is made by smart people. Muhammad, obviously, he is not. And this is why Muhammad he spent his life nobody believing in him, but then by by the sword when he joined with the gangs, the outlaw. We call them in Arabic as Sa'alik. In America today, they call them outlaw, or like in the time of the cowboy. The Sa'alik simply are people who they are cast out their tribes for they are ugly in the crimes, which means the tribe they wash their hands from them and say they are not our sons, kill them. Muhammad he joined the Sa'alik, and the Sa'alik are criminals, pirates, and he started doing what Sa'alik do. That's why you see the Muslim they say Ghazwatul Rasul, which means the attack of the Prophet. All the attack of the Prophet, especially in the beginning, was against caravan of people who they are in the road. Have you ever heard of a Prophet of God? He attacked people traveling. That is Muhammad. If there is any Muslim would like to call me if you feel like you can call me and you can prove us wrong please feel free you are more than welcome and please everybody in the chat be nice to the Muslims and be kind to them they are deceived and we are here to help them any Muslim have an idea now we go back to zero after Muhammad, he discovered that the Nile River and the Euphrates River are rivers from the heaven. 
why Muslim do not make books about this I mean here we go uh, they make thousands of false videos about discoveries in the Quran the prophet he made the prophecy even they say that the prophet he prophesied satellite dish and look like Muhammad satellite dish was one one of them was in Euphrates in the heaven and the other satellite dish was in the Nile River in heaven any Muslim have anything to say anyone Who was a Muslim he agreed with his prophet that the Nile River and Euphrates River and Jihan and Sihan which is four rivers one of them in Africa and the rest of the three in the, in the south of Turkey they are coming from heaven and they are coming from under a tree it's called Sudratul Muntaha and by the way Sudratul Muntaha it's a very funny tree the leaves of it is made of gold and you can walk underneath of it for 100 years. Any Muslim want to say something? You know, I see that Muslims are always proud about being Muslims. But they have no answer for anything. They don't even know what being a Muslim means. All what they know, we say Shahada. And we say Alhamdulillah, Insha'Allah. And this is why the Middle East is messed up. Because everything is based on Alhamdulillah, Insha'Allah. I will do it, Insha'Allah, tomorrow, if Allah will. And nothing will be done, neither by Allah, neither by them. Anyone would like to say anything? What is the tree which Allah he have in his backyard? Which is the greatest tree in the whole universe? Anyone knows? Who is a Muslim knows? You will believe it or not, this tree is exists in the earth. Muhammad he chose a tree showing us how shallow he is let me show you the tree which Muhammad he speak about let me try to find it okay here we go we found it this is the tree Muhammad he spoke about Muhammad is a desert man he went to Allah backyard and he saw this tree in his backyard are you sure <laughs> what is that Let me be sure that this is the exact tree because this one looked nicer from the one I know. Uh, yeah, actually, this is the one. And it goes like, look how it looked like. Those ones are uh, like uh, uh, young. This one is older. This is how they look like. This tree in the backyard of Allah. And you can walk underneath of it for 100 years travel and the one branch. Is Muhammad saying something truthful? And not only that, everyone that this tree is the same as the movie, it's called Alice in the Wonderland. Everyone goes up and everyone goes down. He have to come from underneath of the roots of the tree. And nobody can pass that tree. Let me see if I can find you some hadith so we can read about this amazing 
fiction story Muhammad is coming with no, hold on <coughs> Until now, we did not receive any invit invitation from any Muslim to call him. And I wonder why. Maybe they knew they have no answer. So they said to themselves, and I'm not going to talk about it, we will, be, we will look funny. While I was traveling through paradise, a river appeared before me whose bank had tents of pearl. I said to the angel, what is this? He said, this is al kawthar which Allah granted you. He said, then he put his hand in the clay and removed musk from it. Then I raised up to Sidrat al-Muntaha. And I found, I saw a magnificent light at it. Muslims, what is that? What is the light which Muhammad he saw in that tree which we just showed you the picture? And Muhammad he have a tent in a side of a river and this is al kawthar which Allah he promised Muhammad and the mud of it is made from musk. Mm -hmm. I was raised to the lotus tree. This is the same tree. And I saw four rivers, two of which were coming out and two going in. Those which were coming out were the Nile and Euphrates. Any Muslim have a comment? Any Muslim has a comment? Either you say that the Prophet is being truthful and they are really coming from the yeah, from from that tree, the rivers of Nile and the river of Euphrates. Or you say, obviously, Muhammad is lying. Anyone? Can I call you in Skype? Hassan, yeah, sure. Hassan, you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, you are a Muslim. I remember. Uh, are you are you in Skype already, Hassan? Now. Okay. Uh, is is your account is Hassan R? It's the same, right? Okay. Hello. Hey, Hassan. How are you? I'm fine. Enjoy. Am I saying your name correctly? Is it Hassan or Hassan? Hassan. Hassan. Okay. Remember uh, last time? Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, uh, uh, too many names in my. Uh, it's hard even to know who is the who is the person who's. You know what I mean? It's impossible. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Last time. What, what do you think uh, about this? Uh, uh, Shia guys. Yeah. What do you think about this, Hassan? About the discovery of uh, Muhammad, he found a river of Nile and Euphrates coming from the tree in the heaven of Allah, in the seven heaven. Mm. I don't know actually. Mm. What, where do you think the Nile River is coming from? Uh, it is on the earth. Yeah, but where? Where? Where in the earth? Is, is it in Africa? Is it in Asia? Where? Uh, Asia, right? Uh, no, it's in Africa. Africa. Euphrates is in Asia. It's in the th south of Turkey. The Nile River is in the middle of Africa. So why Muhammad is taking two or actually four famous rivers, Sihan wa Jihan, when when Nilu wal Furat, four famous uh, 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 rivers. And he claimed that they are coming from the heaven of Allah. And the heaven of Allah is in the sky. Is this a Sunni or a Shia? Oh, no, this is Sunni. Now. I, I know you are a Shia, okay. but uh, I know that. But this is Sunni now. 
No, I have no idea, actually. Like, All right. What, uh, what, what, what you wanted to call me? You want to say something? Beside, I our... wanted to, to talk uh, uh, to talk uh, about you uh, uh, about some uh, uh, topics. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't want to uh, to change the the topic. But yeah, we, if you no, allow we me, I topic. don't know. We won't change the topic. But you can talk. You can answer me as a Shia, not as a Sunni. Forget about being a Sunni. What make you think that Muhammad is a prophet as a Shia? Well, they say like he was a really uh, decent man, and uh, he was a decent date, man. Uh, Muhammad was a decent man. Is it true that he was accused of stealing underwear? I saw that, but I have. Uh, okay. I have no idea what anyone, uh, what the Shia you say. So, any one of your friends ever accused me that you stole an underwear before? <laughs> no, it's funny, right? I'm not trying. I'm not being rude to you, but I'm just having a conversation to show you how how bad this is. So, when when the followers of a prophet of God, they accuse their prophet that he stole a piece of a clothing, and this piece of a clothing itself, they stole it from a Jew. Or from someone else what kind of gang they are what kind of people they are I am let us say you are a good person and you have good friends and now you stole some fabric from somebody and now you are fighting who took the underwear and they are accusing that the Prophet is the one who took it and how the Prophet he answer do you see the verse in the screen yes okay what do you think about this verse no prophet could be false to his task of any person. Uh, can I see the uh, tafsir uh, yeah, you can about the this tafsir. from no Shia? Problem. But you see here the problem, the translation is false. It says no prophet can be false. It doesn't say false, it says Yagul, which means he is a thief. No prophet is a thief. This is Yusuf I translation. Do you know any English translation for Shia so we can show it to you? If there's any famous Shia translation, you know? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, translation is yeah, it's not uh, the best uh, option, actually. See, they are saying like, false. Yeah. I don't know what the word false have to do with the word Yagul. If we go to the Shia, uh, I forgot you speak Arabic. Uh, kind of uh, like uh, not because not really, uh, I don't know. but do, I do quite know, understand. Do you know any website for the Shia I have tafsir in English? What do you say? Do you know any website for the Shia I have tafsir in English? Because I have, but no. it's in, uh, in Arabic. I don't. You know, it is in Arabic. Um, I have not. Uh, I don't think that they exist, but. Um, yeah, this is why I'm asking you because you are a Shia, so maybe you have uh, some uh, information about that. Uh, chapter 3, verse number 161. Let us see the Sunni first, as long as this is what we have. Uh, those things actually, neither the Shia or the Sunni, they really don't have any disagreement about those things. Uh, let us see what is the reason or what is behind of this story. I'm looking now for Shia tafsir at the same okay, time. Read careful with me. Wait. This is tafsir at Jalalain. When some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, it's a theft. Some of the people, which means the Muslims, began to say, perhaps the Prophet took it. In the following, the verse was revealed. It's not for the Prophet to be a fraud, Yagul, a thief. You see in the translation how they fool us. They say it's not for a prophet to be false. But this is not about false. This is about being a thief. It says it's not for a prophet to be a thief. And then, okay, how Muhammad, he proved that he is not the one he stole it. By giving a verse, saying Allah said it's not me who stole it. Shouldn't Allah tell us who is the one who took it? <laughs> what do you think, Hassan? Uh, if Allah is God, 
if oh. Allah is God shouldn't he knew who is the one who stole the underwear yes okay so what the point of saying Muhammad is not the one who took it but yet he will not tell us who is the one who took it um, do you understand what I'm saying if I am God, yes, if I am God and my prophet was accused of being a thief Shouldn't I say to them, okay, it's not Muhammad, go to the house of this guy, I know everything, open his closet, or maybe take off his panty, you will see it. So all what Muhammad he did, he gave them a verse claiming that Allah said, it is not him who took it. Why Allah did not tell us who is the one who took it? Um, imagine, the, imagine in the court, imagine we have a court, and somebody was accused of stealing some lingerie from Victoria's Secret. And in the court, the guy, he said, I will give you a verse from Allah saying, it is not me who took it. The judge, he will let him go then. It's very Islamic. So the only proof Muhammad he have that he's not him who stole the underwear, that he gave them a verse claiming that Allah told him that. How we knew that this is not Muhammad himself saying this? Until now, by the way, the underwear is missing. If anyone have an idea, please call uh, uh, the, the FBI of Saudi Arabia because it is really uh, a big case. Even Allah, he could not find out. Even he called Colombo, you know, Detective Colombo, Sherlock Holmes, and they could not find the underwear. I mean, look how silly this verse is. People accuse you of a theft. You say to them, Allah said to me, it's not you. What about you tell us who took it? Okay, this is uh, Tafsir Jalalay, huh? or mm. not? It doesn't matter. Shia, yeah. Shia is not better, my friend. Shia is not better. If Shia is better, I can switch the Shia, go to Arabic because I don't have it here in English. And can we? Can we go? Yeah, we can go uh, to the Shia. No problem. No problem. You go. Right, go use to the this Shia. one. Uh, tafsir al uh, Tafsir al Yeah. Okay. Can go to the Shia. We Hold on. We can go uh, here. They have. Uh, let me show you what they have in the screen. They have Tafsir al Quran al Tabrasi. Uh, Ali ibn Ibrahim al-Qummi, al-Tusi, al-Tabatai, al-Kashani, al-Jinbadi, al-Shirani, al-Bahrani. Al-Burhan. 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 Okay. Al-Burhan. All right, let's go to the Al-Burhan. Okay. I'm just curious. All right. Read carefully. You know what? I'm going to take the, the page. And I will open it in Google and Google so we can click one click and do the translation. It says the same exactly as we saw in the Sunni. Look like the Shia and the Sunni, they agree about this one. All right, we are translating now. Here we go. This is Tafsir al-Burhan. You see the screen, uh, Hassan? Yes, oh. I'm looking at the screen. All right, it says in the top. Hisham al Burhani. This is Tafsir Google. So, you know, take that into consideration. It's not very accurate. But it's saying the same that it says that uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the attribute uh, to the Prophet that he took a piece of a clothing, which is a red velvet underwear. Do you see it? Wait, I I think the screen is uh, not on time. Wait, wait. Refresh uh, the page, maybe. If you refresh, it will work. Um, yes, red velvet. Okay. Flatter. Yeah. I don't know it's what it means. So it's the same. Uh, you know, uh, they accuse him that he took a piece of her clothing, and Allah, he gave him this verse saying to them, he did not take it. Thank you very much. So... What do you think about this madness? <clears throat> Muhammad is a prophet of God. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> easy. I'm losing my voice. Uh, you're talking too much, too many people. Uh, you know, he is a prophet, and then Allah, He sent him a verse to prove that He is a decent man. By what? By telling them it's not Muhammad who took it. So, how we can take this as a. And actually here, uh, you, you will see clearly that they're accusing him to be Yagul. Yagul is a, is, a, is a thief and he's a fraud. I mean, how... But wait, um, uh, did it uh, mention 
uh, who the thief uh, was in the no. in the Shia tafsir? Like no, I didn't. No, no, there's no way to mention anything. Wait. Nothing. No, there's no nothing. To show it shows. You know, there's nothing in the in the uh, in the whole tafsir of the Shia. I don't know. I never. If you know something, let me know. No, I don't know. Uh, because just, because, uh, because you see uh, quickly, like how, it was how a the Shia, glance. How the Shia even will come to tell us who is the one who took it? If nowhere it says who is the one who took it, and I, as you see, Allah Himself he did not say. So here you notice that Muhammad was accused by his followers. But here you notice something very important, Hassan. If you have a very good people, quality people around you, are they going to accuse you really of seeing the clothes? And you are their prophet. What do you think? What kind well, of what, what kind of a, of, a, of, a, of a gang Muhammad he have with him? To the point they accuse their prophet and leader that he is a thief. What do you think? Uh, uh, actually, that's uh, strange. But you know, maybe uh, it is uh, it is uh, possible uh, if they are not uh, decent and they want like they're not being honest. Okay. I mean, people are, can do. They are not decent. Horrible things. Okay, why the companion of the prophet are not decent? If the companion, the first to believe in him, they are a bunch of thieves and gang. So, what kind of a prophet he is? You know, in the Middle East, we say, if you want to know him, tell me who is your friend. I will tell you who who you are. Correct. Tell me who is your friend. I will tell you who you are. If you if your okay. friends are a bunch of a druggy and drug people, drug dealers. Then you are like them. Do we agree? Yeah, uh, if they say uh, uh, there is a hadith that uh, man uh, man uh, man ashra qawman uh, arba'in a yom. He's he's from uh, them. You are right. Asbah so minhum. Yeah. As I can remember, like something like that. Yeah, like he, he became you, one of them. If he you know, forty days. Yeah, he you, became like yeah. he became one of them. Okay. So Muhammad is working with people. Who they are gang obviously and they themselves accusing him to be a fraud so what was the relationship between muhammad and his companion then business as you see Sahaba, they, yeah, and, uh, in shia in shia islam uh, they are uh, very very uh, hated uh, omar and yeah uh, for but, example but uh, regardless of the names Abu Bakr. regardless of the names obviously they are if if they are bad, that means Muhammad is bad. I mean, why I want to walk with you? Why I want to go together, drink coffee together, uh, go and fight together, believe in the same God together, we pray together, yet you, we, you, you are bad and I am good? doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, but... Uh, um... Like uh, were they uh, good uh, according to to the to the Shia uh, uh, those uh, those uh, Sahaba like friend, uh, before the, Shia, the, the Shia, before the before the death of okay. the, the Prophet the Shia, Omar the, the Shia, Bakr, Shia, the Shia they proved to us that uh, the Quran is a fraud too. You Shia, you accuse Aisha she was a bad woman, even she was a whore. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't know, but she has Although some, can go. she's very much hated. So, no, 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 no. Yeah. you can go right now and search in YouTube. You will see your scholars, they are talking about the hadith about Aisha. They call it Sahibatul Jirar al Khudr. I'm just copying how the Shia they talk. Yaqulu al Hadith Anna Aisha Qad Zayyana Jariyatan. وطافت بها لكي تصطاد شبابا من قريش. This is how the Shia they speak about Aisha. Do you agree? <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Aisha, guys, she decorated. She decorated a slave girl so she can hunt young men from Quraysh. She wanna sleep with them. This is what the Shia says, and by the way, this hadith is a Sunni hadith too. So, you agree, and you said that the Shia says that Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, is a bad woman, right? Yes. Okay. But isn't it the Quran says 
the bad women Allah will make them marry bad men uh, yes uh, last time uh, you showed me that so, yeah. yeah so okay, that means, I remember that that means Muhammad is a bad man if Allah will make bad men marry bad women but good women marry good men and Aisha and Hafsa and many of his wives they are nothing but bad women so how this verse will work let me see again okay so again by the way the translation here is very false like your translation it says bad women deserve bad men and bad men are for bad women <laughs> the fact doesn't say that it says so Allah made a destiny that for the good women good man and for the good man uh, good women and for the bad man bad women and for the bad women bad man it's a destiny so how Muhammad he didn't marry a bad woman She was maybe uh, good uh, back then. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, if uh, there's nothing as code was and uh, and uh, it became something else, Allah He knew the future. But in Shia Islam, we we believe that uh, there is uh, something called Qanun al Qanun al Bada that Qanun uh, that the future uh, can be changed, like uh, it is. Uh, it is not uh, written like like the no, Sunni. No, no, no. You know, you have you uh, have you heard about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Al, no, uh, al Bada, something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, al Qadar, Al Qadar. The name, the name of Al Qadar alone is enough to prove that you cannot change it. The the Qadar will change by Allah, not by you. Which mean, uh, you do something, and Allah wants something. And uh, what Allah want is going to happen, not what you want. Okay, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Qanun al Bada. Uh, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but still, this is, it? still, still. The, 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 you, you what are, is that then? Uh, what? Qanun uh, al Bada. Uh, I think. You mean al Bada or al Bala? What, sorry? Uh, I'm trying to understand what you are saying. Al Bala or Al Bada? Well, Bada. Bada. Al Bada? With uh, Dal, yes. Al Bada. Uh, I think you are saying it wrongly. Wait, Khan, uh, I, I will look for it. Wait. I think I, uh, I think I know you. I know what you are talking about. Hold on. Yeah, Al, -al, -al Bada, the, the Bada and the Shia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but this is not about what what uh, uh, what you are saying. Uh, Al Bada is the appearance. You see the Shia. The difference between the Shia and the Sunni. The Shia they have something. It's called appearance, and uh, it, the inside, the inner. Correct, Hassan. What do you mean? Wait, I, I the, don't know what you mean. There is the appearance, and there is. Uh, the the inner the inside, Baatan and Zahir, you mean? Yeah, Baatan and Zahir. No, no, but uh, this is uh, this is something uh, different. Uh, like, wait, there was a hadith in Al Kafi um, yeah. about uh, about the future that it could be changed. Uh, it is it is not uh, maktub like. Uh, like the yeah, it is something is not Sunni belief. Something is not written, and it can be changed. Al Bada, like Qanun Al Bada, Ma Bada. There was a hadith I forgot. It. Maybe I can uh, find it. Yeah, Ma Bada. Okay, uh, I forgot the hadith actually. This is yeah. from Aqaid Al Imamiyah. Are you uh, are you the twelve from the twelve? Twelve, yes. Ifna Ashariya. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I, I know what I'm talking about. So, but, but yeah. Uh, uh, but what you are talking about uh, that you do you start something and later you can change what you want to do right yeah like uh, it is uh, it is uh, maktub but yeah it still uh, could be could be changed like 
it is who is it's not but who is the one will change it life. who is hmm? the one will change it uh, me uh, uh, depending on my uh, deeds uh, not like that uh, that uh, god uh, created me with a okay let me ask uh, you with a when, destiny when, when, and, then, when, yeah. Hassan and when the children of ali they've been slaughtered is that because they change or because allah destiny was for them to be killed um well god uh, knew it because uh, the angels i can't remember um uh, that they uh, um uh, how do you say that in uh, in english uh, uh like yeah i don't know uh, wait the word like they uh, can you help me <laughs> I'm not uh, sure. uh, على الله, uh, because uh, complain uh, to Allah, yeah. complain to Allah. They're, what, sorry? They, they've been uh, uh, rub, they rebel against Allah, yes, okay, uh, because uh, uh, God, uh, God will, uh, God will uh, create uh, Adam and then from Adam will, uh, will uh, bad. Uh, that uh, people come and they will kill al hussein uh, yeah so they so they knew it that's what i know like okay in the beginning the before I want, I want adam's to, creation okay i want you to go with me they I, I want they you to uh, uh, rebelled so All right. yeah based on that i'm now thinking um no uh I want to show you something how silly the Quran is chapter 6 verse 148 check chapter 6 verse number 148 Allah saying the idolaters those who worship idols they say if Allah not if God I mean this translation is stupid let me try and change it I don't know why he used the word God instead of Allah because Allah is it the same <laughs> no Allah is a name you cannot say you place it with the word God in translation so those uh, who, those okay. who take partner with Allah will say if Allah had wished because if you say if God we do not know what God is talking about right and this is not what the Quran is saying the Quran is saying Law sha Allah so they name the God correct you know what I mean Law sha Allah yeah if so he, if so he as wants long, as long as long it says Law sha Allah we cannot replace the word sha Allah with if Allah if, if, if God want you have to give the name because they named him here. It's Allah. It's not the word God. So look, the Quran is saying, as you just said, that you can change, right? You can change. But here Allah is refuting them and he agree. He agree with you somehow. Look what he says. Those who give partner with Allah, they will say, if Allah had wished, we should not have given partners to him nor would our fathers so they are saying well this is our destiny correct if allah willed do you agree they are saying not allah allah is saying to them no no this is your destiny this is you 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 choose that here he says they are saying if Allah willed we will not take partners which means we are doing this because this is Allah will obviously because if Allah willed we will not take any partner with him and he said so did their ancestor argue falsely do you see it mm -hmm. uh, are you with me uh, do you understand Hassan so you say to me why you are associating somebody with Allah I say to you well if Allah want me not to associate with him he can uh, he can make me not to do that but obviously Allah like me to do that he because he don't uh, oppose me you know so it's it's, it's Allah will so Allah here he says so they did their ancestors they have the same lie and they argue falsely so Allah disagree with the statement that if Allah want if Allah will then we will not worship another one beside him so obviously this is Allah will therefore we will do it 
but look how silly the Quran if we go to a verse another verse you will see the following Mm -hmm. I will show you verses after verses. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me change the translator. Anyway, all those verses it says it clearly that if Allah will, we will not worship someone beside Allah. So they say, like uh, God uh, uh, wrote uh, wrote this uh, destiny. Of yeah, us, they are saying yet. that. Uh, they are saying that, but Allah, He don't agree with them. Allah saying to them, "Well, this is the, your false argument. This is your false argument." But then, if we go to different verses in the Quran, we will find Allah saying <laughs> that this is His will. You see, I'm not using hadith because if I use hadith, you might say to me, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, I'm Shia, I don't agree with the hadith of the Sunni. Uh, I want a Shia hadith. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to show you uh, Shia. Like, I'm not going to show you hadith. I'm uh, going to show you Quran, which is more, more better. Chapter six, chapter six, verse number one forty nine. It says, Allah says. Uh, Verse number 148, it says, The idolater says, If God had so willed, we would not have associated other with him. But this is their fa a false, fa this is a, a fabrication argument. But the verse after it, it says, Allah said to them, Say, to God belong all the consuming argument. Had he will, he would surely have guided you, all of you, or uh, aright. Let me change the translator again. It's coming back to his translator. This guy is an idiot. I think he's using Google translation. Yeah, can I see the Arabic also? Sure. Like, okay. Let me read it again in English. So, uh, with Allah is the argument that reaches home. If it had been his will, he could indeed have guided you all. Do you see it? So how in the verse before it he said they said if Allah will we will not be misguided and then the verse after it right away he says if Allah say to them if Allah wanted he will make you all guided so this is his will okay is the Arabic قل فلله الحج البالغة فلو شاء لهداكم أجمعين. أوكي. لشاء لايك. أوكي. فلو شاء لهداكم أجمعين. Can I see the تفسير of this آية؟ You can. But I mean, this is this is very easy. I mean, if Allah wants, He will guide you all. Even this one need the تفسير. No, I'm just uh, curious. Uh, yeah. They say like uh, it's a same you may because, never. Yeah, uh, it's the same. If Allah uh, wants, He will guide you. All. Okay. <laughs> so if Allah wants, if Allah wants, He will guide you all. Which mean what? If Allah wants, will guide you all. It's mean Allah don't want to guide you all. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, I agree. Okay. There are uh, many go, uh, verses. Okay. Uh, one says, if we go uh, different verse in the Quran. Um, فزادهم الله مرضا. Thank you. Yeah. He 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 increased the disease in the hearts and. Right. Um. Let me think. Chapter six, verse one seventeen. Once one one seventeen. It says, uh. "Your Lord, who knows who know, he is, he knows who is going to go astray, and who is going to be in guidance." Is that correct. What is that? It says. Yeah. Your Lord knows who is going to go astray. Actually, the translation is false. You will, it's meant to deceive. Who is going to be deceived and who is the one to be guided? Inna rabbuka huwa a'lamu man yudul an sabirihi wa huwa a'lamu muhtadin. So, it is Allah who knows who is going to be deceived and the one who will be guided. Okay, you said to me that you can change 
and in order to say you can change your destiny then you should not nobody should know because it's still it's a free will have to do with you only because you can change it anytime but still uh, God knows uh, everything okay. if, including if the knew, future right if you knew uh -huh. everything if you knew everything that's mean he knew what you would do and that's mean he, you you know it's it is there already you change nothing you think you change, uh, but the fact you did not change anything. Okay. You change nothing. God knows everything. So yeah. No. Okay. Hold on. Uh, chapter thirteen, verse number twenty-seven. It says, "وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْلَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ آيَةٌ مِنْ رَبِّهِ قُلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ أَنَابَ." Look at this joke. The unbeliever says. Why not? Why is not a sign sent down from his Lord? I mean, this is a very normal question, right? You claim to be a prophet, and we have the right to ask you, if you are a prophet, how come you don't have any miracles? Allah, he answer, and look how funny the answer says, Allah, he deceive whoever he want, and he guide whoever he want. What kind of God he is? The Muslim they falsely they translate the word deceive by saying he leave to astray whom he will. How he can leave him astray? The word in Arabic yudal yudal mean you deceive. So Allah will lead you astray by deceiving you, and He will do that whoever you He will, and He will guide whoever He will. Okay. So you are saying to me I can change, but Allah is the one who deceive He want who He want. And he guides who he wants. So, in order to be changed, to go to heaven or to go to earth, do you have the freedom based on this verse, uh, Hassan? Because the change you would do either would uh, take you to heaven. Let's wait, let me think. Uh, um, Can I see the Arabic again? It was, I think, more. Yeah, this is chapter clear. thirteen, chapter thirteen, yeah. verse number twenty-seven. <coughs> Let me read for you for fast reading. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَوْلَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِ قُلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُهْدِي إِلَيْهِ مَنْ أَنَابَ. Okay, <laughs> yes. that's madness. So, all oh, what they said to you as a Shia that you can change is a fabrication because in order to change. In order to change, you have to delete this verse, and there's many other verses. Here it says, "It is Allah who de 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 deceive whoever He want, and Allah He guide whoever He want." So, in order for you to change, to change destiny for bad or good, like to go to hell or to go to heaven, then you have to have a freedom. But here it says clearly that it is Him who guide, no one else, and He is the one who misguide, no one else. Do we agree? Yes. Okay. 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 So in order to be, in order, let's say, let us say you are you are a person who uh, is doing bad deeds and you want to change that. Based on this verse, in order to be guided, it's Allah He have to have the will to guide you, because He is the one who will guide you, not you by yourself. You will be guided, so you don't have a free will. We go to the hadith. Actually, a uh, verse. There's tons of them. Read this one with me. If Allah so willed, He could make you all one people. But He leaves deceiving. You see the word here, strain. It's a false. But strain, it's the same as deceive. I think it goes. Wait, oh. wait. Uh, if Allah so willed. <laughs> so what do you see here if Allah want he will make us all of us Muslims correct or all, all of us mm -hmm. Christians all of us all of us Hindus or all of us kuffar but Allah he don't want us to be all of us one it is the will of Allah he is the one who decide who is going to be believer and who is the one to be not as believer? So what's the point of this religion? 
Why I will go to hell if he is the one who decides I will not believe? He leaves straying whom he pleases and he guides whom he pleases. And again, this is a false translation. The word yudil have nothing to do with strain. The word yudil is about deceiving. He deceive whoever he will and he guide whoever he will. So he, if you want, he will make you all one nation. But obviously, this is not what he want. So what he want? He deceive as well. Yeah, but uh, uh, Yodel means uh, uh, lead, uh, lead astray. It is uh, correct. Like no, no. Uh, you tell yeah. No, my, 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 no, my, 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 no, my friend. Mm -hmm. Yodel, Yodel. It, it can be used in many way. And let us give an example. Yodulu Tariq. He lost his way. Correct. Taha, mm -hmm. you mean? If somebody he lost his way, we can use dalla uh, He lost his way, which means direction. He got wrong direction, correct? But if somebody yes. doing that to you, here is deceiving because he is causing you to take wrong direction. Do we agree? Mm. Okay, you want to go in the highway to go to Washington D.C., and you ask me where to go from. I give you a different highway in purpose to deceive you so you can go to will go to different city. Is that a deceiving or this is just I went astray? You can say it is uh, deceiving. Okay, it well, is deceiving. Yeah, it is, so it I is am he, leading he, you astray. Yeah, uh, both are them. Yeah, but yeah. No, he leaves you astray, which means maybe maybe you yourself you didn't you know, like okay he 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 did not reach out to you to guide you. No, this is not the case. It says in Arabic, you drill. It's an act he did uh -huh. to make you astray. Not something happened. You are astray, and he let you there. You know, it's like I'm walking in the in the beach. I saw somebody is drowning, and I did not give him arms, so he died. This is not what it says. He lead you to your death by deceiving you. All right. So Allah here showing us again uh, uh, how stupid this religion is. Because if Allah, He is the one who guide who He want, misguide who He wants. So why I will go to hell or, or I will go to heaven? What is what I did? Nothing. Chapter 16, verse number 37. Read this one. This one is even more horrible. I will show it to you in Arabic first and we'll show it to people in English. Into Harid Ala Hudahum, Fain Allah Halayadi, Man Yudil, Wamalahum in Nasarin. What the heck? If you try. I don't see this. Okay. This one. When this is chapter 16, when, verse number 37. 37. Okay, so if you if you if you uh, if you anchor uh, uh, like uh, if you if you try your best to guide them, uh, don't waste your time. Allah will guide not the one who He deceived, and those who He deceived, nobody can help them. <laughs> and this is the Muslim translation. Do you see it? Um, so, so how that can be possible? Don't try to guide them because Allah must guide them, and those who Allah must guide them, nobody can guide them. As simple as that. We can change the translation, you know, so we can love better. Even though, oh, you Muhammad, translation of Bikhtal, desire it, desire their right guidance. Still, Allah assuredly will not guide him who he who misleads. Allah will not guide who he misleads. Who is the one who misleads the guy? Allah. <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> so, what's happening now? Uh, I don't know, man. It's so what yeah, kind of version this version is? What do they uh, say then? That yeah, I don't know. They say in uh, in Shia that yeah, I thought uh, that was indeed uh, stupid uh, to think that uh, it is literally written. So they told me uh, in Shia uh, that's not the case. So yeah, 
Yeah, well, this is the Quran. I mean, they can't okay. even. This they is can't Quran. Even, yeah, I agree. Yeah, this they is can't Quran, play, so play games like... with it. You know, obviously, but they are playing games. They are, you know, and uh, most of people they they don't need. They don't study carefully. All right, and uh, you know, uh, a book full of contradiction. All of it is in contradiction. And the same can be found all over, like chapter 3, 30, uh, 35, verse number 8. It's Allah who guide he who he will, and he must guide who he will, deceive who he will. Hmm? Which one again? Uh, this, uh, 35. One. This is why my book is called Deception of Allah. Go get my book. 123. Uh, which one? The 35, verse number 8. 35. For Allah, he deceive, not astray. Whom he wills, and he guide who him he wills. That's it. It's his will to be deceived mm -hmm. or to be guided. Okay. And the Quran is full of this. All the Quran is like that. What kind of book this book is? Mm. And uh, imagine. In the Quran, in chapter 2, verse number 2, uh, two 6, Allah will give you a parable. And then this parable will guide many and we must guide many. What is that? How, how stupid that is? I will tell you a story, and this story will misguide many and will guide many. <laughs> Do you see it? Hey, guys, I have a story for you. And if I tell this story, many of you will go astray and many of you will be guided. So what the point? What the point exactly? Are you there, uh, Hassan? Yes, I'm here. Um, let's look at the Arabic here. In the Arabic this is uh, surah which uh, I can uh, chapter two, uh, chapter look two at my number, computer. Chapter, chapter two, two? Verse number twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Let's have a look. In Allah, la yastahi an yudraba mathala ba ma ba uda fa ma fauquha fa amma aladina amanu fa alamuna an Allah haq min Rabbihim amma aladina kafaru fa yaquluna ma da arad Allah bi adam madr yudlu bihi kathir wa yuhdi bihi kathira wa ma yudlu bihi illa al fasiqin. But the verse before it says. That the one who Allah was guided is misguided by Allah, and now He's saying the one is misguided is the bad one. <laughs> oh boy! You know, uh, who is the one? Who is the one who follows Shaitan? Hassan. What? Uh, who is the one who? Who is the one? Who is the one who follows Shaitan? Uh, I. Uh, according to uh, Islam, uh, anyone that is bad, bad. Like, okay, chapter uh, 7, verse 175. Evil. Yeah, <clears throat> evil, bad people, they follow shaitan only. Chapter 7, 175 says the same. Chapter 15, 42. Uh, uh, in you know, uh, chapter 26, uh, even chapter 26, verse 24, it says that the poetry man, the one who followed them, is only the criminals. If you are a poet man and people like you, those who like you, you are a, they are a criminal, all right. But now, as you see, the point people uh, is those who do evil, they follow them. All right? The one who is bad, who follow them. But look, in the Quran says, chapter 15, verse number 14, 42, that from my servant, no authority shall thou have except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee. Actually, the translation is as bad. As such as the criminals, al -ghawin. So Allah is saying to the shaitan, no one from my followers can follow you except the criminals. So how None of my followers can follow you? Yeah, except except the bad ones. Only bad ones will follow shaitan. Shaitan have no authority over the good ones. Correct? So how Shia and Sunni, they say shaitan deceived me. Did you hear the question, Hassan? Yeah. How you Shia, you say, Shaitan deceived me. If Shaitan cannot deceive unless you are a bad person, you are a criminal, 
not only a bad you have to be a criminal al -Ghawin. what a stupid religion so you say to them shaitan have no authority except over the criminals okay so how shaitan he was able to convince adam to commit sin adam was a criminal they say uh, uh, in shia uh, in shia islam that uh, adam uh, uh, by iblis uh, iblis uh, iblis uh, swear by uh, swear by allah so doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Adam whatever, whatever, thought that my friend, whatever uh, Shaitan he did, whatever no Shaitan, one would no no Hassan. Uh, whatever would Shaitan swear by Allah and lie about yeah, that, whatever yeah. the stories they told you about Shaitan he did, as long the Quran and this is before <coughs> before he even kicked him out from heaven. Uh, uh he says Allah that you have no authority over my servant except the one who follow thee. In order to practice this, that means Adam, he followed thee. Hmm. No matter how he convinced him, he swear, he played jumbo mambo, that will not change the... the he follow the advice of shaitan. That means Adam himself was a criminal. Right? Mm. What about Muhammad? Yeah, okay. What I about, find it so what about, strange, like what about, he's a prophet. Okay. What yeah, about Muhammad? Okay. <sighs> was Muhammad a sinner, a sinner according to uh, to uh, to Islam, to Shia, or no? To Shia, no, absolutely yeah, not. Because, but because to the Shia, Sunni, he was no. Because the Shia, they are not being uh, the Shia scholars. They are not being decent, and they are not being truthful. This is the Quran, chapter forty-eight, verse number two. Translation is false, same fault. In Arabic, it says them baka. You know what them mean, right? What them mean? Them sin. Sin. Okay. ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر. Does it say that? Which surah was it? Forty-eight, verse number two. Okay, let me read it. ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم Yes, okay. Um, so, to who, uh, so, is he? So, this is a Muhammad. Here? This is to Muhammad. This is speaking to Muhammad. This is the chapter of Al Fatah. All of it is about Muhammad. So, here we have given thee, Muhammad, a signal of victory. A signal of victory. A signal of victory. Okay. That Allah may forgive the sin that which in the past and wished in to come. If the Quran just said that Shaitan have no authority over anyone to make him do what? If Shaitan have authority, what he would do? He would make you commit sin, correct? Do I agree? I don't know, man. Yeah. Hmm. So Allah says, you cannot make my followers do sin unless they follow thee and they are criminals so how muhammad he commit the sin and not only sin sin in the past and sin in the future the muslims they have many fabrications saying that the christians they used to give a paper like the pope he give a paper to forgive sin if you pay him money the fact the quran is the one is doing that your past and your coming sin Open license for sin. But when does he forgive your sin? Uh, it doesn't say it right. But, uh, it says, my friend, it says forgive your past and your coming sin. And by the way, here, uh, there is something very wrong in the verse. And you speak Arabic, you know Arabic. Do you see here it says, لِيَغْفُرُ لَكَ اللَّهُ Yes. Translation that me Allah that <coughs> Allah may forgive thee. How Allah He say may forgive thee? Me? What does that mean? If Allah is the one who will forgive him, and Allah is the one who talk is talking, so how Allah He say me? Allah will forgive you. 
I am the one who's talking. And why are you saying me? Here you notice that the one who wrote those verses, he forget to switch. Speaking about Allah from speaking about himself. If Allah is speaking here, he should not say that Allah may forgive thee. You are Allah. You mean Allah is here speaking? So why he, uh. okay, Allah is speaking. Why he would say me Allah? <laughs> and what do you mean may? You are Allah. You forgive him or not? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I I get it. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know actually. So Hassan, what you want to stay a Muslim man after all this madness? You still a Muslim? Stay, stay a Muslim, and may Allah forgive you. <laughs> may, may Allah. <laughs> Allah he is not sure he forgave to Muhammad or not. Me, and me in the past and the coming to, to and, the, and the and the sin to come. I mean, look at this. As long you are saying the sin to come should not be me because obviously you are you you are saying you you forgive him. So what do you mean? لِيَغْفُرَ لَكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ وَمِنْ مَا تَأَخَّرَ what does uh, le uh, means here? Yeah, for it's My like maybe in the future, le like the le istiqbal. You know, like something will happen in the future. So maybe I okay. will forgive you. In the uh, this way, in the translation, says the may Allah, may Allah forgive thee. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Okay, you know what, Hassan? Forget about all of this. Uh, still, you are not leaving Islam today. Until now. I can't tell you are not you are hesitating. I want you to help me to keep you as a Muslim. I want you to help me to keep you today as a Muslim. Give me something, make you stay as a Muslim still. Um okay, let me think. Um I don't know where they say like uh they they have um, many uh, uh, hadith uh, about uh, uh, wisdoms and like uh, this all fabrication stories speech. after what you know all those stories written long after Muhammad and uh, Hikayat, after, for example قال this is, this is قال, yeah. قال علي, uh, for example هناك uh, هناك نعمتان مجهولتان الصحة والأمان for example, so yeah, I don't know. And they say there's a book called Nahj uh, al Balagha. All right. For Ali, uh, he has a he has a sermon um, without uh, uh, dots. Okay. But I don't think that's really. Um, I don't know, man. But they say they say like uh, 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 Ali was the most. Uh, Rightful person, but yeah. All right. Well, let us see oh, some yeah. of, some of the wisdom of the the, the people of Ahlul Bayt. All right. Okay. Uh, That's what this. Yeah. What about watermelon? Watermelon? Yeah. What do you mean? Is watermelon is uh, is watermelon a Shia or Sunni? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what happened? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm asking you, you should answer me. Is watermelon Shia or Sunni? <laughs> Guys, according to the Shia, watermelon, if she is a sweet, she is a Shia. And she is from the the one who love Ali and the family of the Prophet. If she is not the watermelon, she is Sunni. What do you say? <laughs> okay. Let us read. Wasailu Shia. Do you see the screen? You see the screen? 
Hasan? Wait, wait. <laughs> Like, are you joking or what? No, no, I'm not joking. I will show you many examples. Al Hurru al Amili, variant number 25, page number 178. It says, An Jeddihi, An Amir al Mu'minin, Alayhi Salam, Akhada Batriha, Lia Kuluha, Fawajadaha Murra, Farama Biha, Wakal, Badan Wasuka, Ila and Kal, Fakir Lahu, your Amir al Mu'minin. ما هذه البطيخة قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله أخذ أقضى مودتنا على كل حيوان ونبات ونبت فما قبل الميثاق كان عذبا طيبا ولم يقبل الميثاق كان ملحا زعقا So let us translate The Ali he took a بطيخة a watermelon and he wanted to uh, to uh, to eat it Actually let us, let us click at Google Translation and then when he, he started eating it, he found that it is sore. It's, the taste is so bad. So he threw it away and he cursed it. And they said to him, uh, oh, uh, the, 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 the leader of the believers, uh, Amir al Mumani, what's wrong? What's up with this uh, water, Amir? You know? Uh, he said that the Prophet of Allah, he said that Allah, he took a contract of our faith, which means Shia faith. On every animal uh, grow up before the, the, the whatever and every every planet actually here that the translation is wrong and every planet animal and, and planet so Allah he made a contract that all the animals and all the plants uh, who are going to follow Ali the, the good ones Ali and his family they will be sweet and good taste and those who they are not they will be salty and they will taste bad do you see it, uh, Hassan? Yeah, I see it. And this is an agreement between Allah and all the animals and the plants. And this watermelon, she is not, not Shia. This is why he throw it away. She, it's not sweet. Hmm. So this is the wisdom they told you about the Shia? What? Okay. I think you had enough uh, enough food. Are you going to stay Shia or what? Did, did we have enough for today? I've never heard of this. What do you mean you never heard? Okay. What about well, if you what about if you look at the, if you look at the anus of a woman during during uh, uh, like you you are having sex with your wife. And if you look at her anus, what will happen to you? You will go you know your son uh, uh, is going to be blind and he will be mute and deaf just by looking at your wife <laughs> bum when you are having sex the same as if you are talking all right if you talk during sex Allah will make you mute Allah will make sorry your son mute and this is explained why some kids are mute because uh, simply you obviously you were talking uh, during the time uh, you are having sex. Let us read together. Al book Al Kafi. And this is your best book you told me before. This is the best book you like, right? Al Kafi. Al Kafi, okay. yes. Volume <clears throat> number five, page number 498. All right. It says, uh, let us go down. All right. What is the most time is hated uh, to have sex in? Even if it is lawful, which means with your wife, he says between the sunrise and the sun raised, which means like the sun is rising and the sun already is in the in the in the sky. That time is forbidden. It's haram, and but and between the sunset until the last light of the sun is 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 gone. It's haram. It's bad. And then and in the day where the sun have an eclipse. And the, uh, the moon have an eclipse and in the night uh, where there is a, a like a cold uh, air uh, 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 sorry dark dark wind like you know the, I think this is from the sand sand storm and uh, red red wind red uh, wind and uh, uh, yellow wind which is uh, presenting a dusty storm cold hot in those <coughs> days you can you should not have sex and then he says 
Uh, all right, let us see. Oh, okay, in the top. It says, اتقوا الكلام عند ملتقى الختانين فإنه يورث الخرس. Do you see it? Uh, yes, I see. Okay. Uh, uh, avoid talking during sexual intercourse because that will make your kids deaf and mute. Wait, wait. Uh, ملتقى الختانين. What does that mean? ختانين, which means women is circumcised in Islam, a man is circumcised. So when the two circumcision met, you don't talk. Multaka, okay, yes, multaka is meeting, okay. Yeah. But if you talk, <coughs> if you talk, you inherit your child to be mute. So the reason for this is this is the wisdom of the Ahlul Bayt. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is a lot of wisdom. So this is what we keeping you as a Muslim, the wisdom of Ahlul Bayt. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's a lot of wisdom, man. I mean uh, that's that's uh, that's really good. Hmm? Uh, but uh, they say like there are thousands of those. Okay, what uh, about Muslims? What, what I don't about, know. Okay, uh, you, you believe? Qala, you believe in? Qala Ali, Qala Imam, Qala. Okay, do you you believe in Al Mahdi, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know, but it's just, it is in uh, in Shia Islam. There, yeah, it is of the main belief. But. Yeah, but I know, but I mean, the Mahdi, is it true that his fart is like perfume? What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> is it true that his fart is like a perfume? <laughs> Why are you are laughing? Hold yourself, this is your religion. Come on, show, show respect, man. <laughs> This is Bihar al Anwar. Al Alam al Majlisi, value number 25, page number 168. All right. The description about Al Mahdi. What Al Mahdi, what he will be. He says that the Imam Ashru Alama, there is two signs of Al Mahdi. First one, his penis will be circumcised when he was born. So his penis is already circumcised by Allah. And if he fail down in the ground, he will fail in his butt. In his butt, not in his any side, no, in his butt. Always he fell down in the butt. Like you throw him in the air, he go down in his butt. And when he fell in his butt, right away he say a shahada, a shahadatain. Right away, you, he fell in his butt, he say, no, 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 Ali, Ali, okay. And then and he never have or he will never have get dirty from orgasm which means his orgasm is always pure and his eyes never sleep and his uh, 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 sorry his eyes sleep but his heart never sleep and he never do yawning and he never ex uh, scratch like what uh, like stretch stretch his arms like you know he never do that like oh, like you know tired like no and then he can see what is in the front and what is behind him in the same time and uh, uh, and and uh, and uh, his uh, 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 like his his uh, the defect is like the musk, and the earth, and the earth always right away swallow it and make it disappear. What do you say? Let us click on English translation so we, can, we can translate the page in English, but I, I know like a Google translation will not really be too much good, but uh, better than nothing. So there is 10 signs of Al Mahdi, as you see here, and uh, his eyes, uh, okay, Abu Jafar, etc. For the 10 signs, he is born with sealed the cleanser, <laughs> see the cleanser, is circumcised. And if he fall in the ground, he fall in his his butt, not his feet. And uh, when he uh, and he will raise his voice, saying the shahada. He does not. Uh, his eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep. Uh, uh, he never do yawning, and he never stretch his body. And uh, what else? And then, and translation is really. Mis 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 
So what do you say, my friend, about uh, the wisdom of the Ahlul Bayt? I mean, this is too much wisdom. And you are proud about it. So this is what making you stay as a Muslim? Uh, hmm? I don't know what to say, man. Hmm. What? You will stay a Muslim or not? I don't know. Like, yeah, uh, I've never. This is yeah. This is the first time you. Yeah, I mean. Okay. Do you watch the first? Do you watch the first? Uh, was was al Shia the first book you said? We are quoting from many. The last one it was uh, from Kalafi, <coughs> I think. Uh, have you ever? Did you watch like those magician who do things like you know make uh, something come from your nose, etc. Magicians, mm, yeah, did you watch I have uh, watched uh, sometimes okay. like on this is your favorite book, Usul al Kafi, Sharh Usul al Kafi. Oh, it's not know? my favorite book. <laughs> well, about Al Kafi, this is explanation for Al Kafi. This exists in the Kafi, but this is explanation <laughs> for it. It says, uh, uh, the Prophet of Allah, he pray, and when he pray, from his nose came. Uh, from his right side, uh, left side of his nose, a bird which is yellow, and it is from the kind of the luctus, and he was bigger than a fly. And this fly go and walk under the throne of Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness. <coughs> what? This is a bird coming from. The nose of your prophet Muhammad and his was yellow. He was a bird, but yet he is smaller than the loctos and bigger than the fly. And he walked under the throne of Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness until the judgment day. They asked your prophet, actually, no, not, not your prophet here. Kuntu Ujarisu Aba Abdullah, alayhi salam. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, a guy who was sitting with Imam Abdullah and he said to him Where the sneezing come from? He said the nose He said You are right <laughs> I mean you see the wisdom <laughs> The sneezing <laughs> where the sneezing came from from the nose you are right. Here they are quoting you the, the amazing miracles of those guys. I mean, the guy he is telling us that the, the, the sneeze come from the nose. I mean, all right. Uh, and then he says, uh, Where is the sperm is coming from? He says, From all the body, not only from the penis. And then this is what he says, Testicles, you mean? And, they, and then he says, No, all the body, Jamil or Badan. He says, don't you see when a human he sneezes, all his limp move? And if somebody he sneezes once, he will not die for the coming seven days. So he's trying to prove to you that the connection between your sperm and your sneezing. So why you when you why you sneeze, all your body move. And he is saying he's connecting between where the uh, let me translate this to English so people they can read. I mean, so what do you think? We still Muslims? I don't know what to say to you. <clears throat> this is uh, I asked you why you are staying Muslim until now. You said uh, they have wisdom. Okay, we are reading the wisdom. You want more wisdom? I can give you from now until next year a lot of wisdom. Do you really want more wisdom or we are done? Well, I don't know what what you want. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. How many uh, Allah he have two cities in this earth? Is that correct? Or you do not know about this one? Two cities on the earth? Two cities in this earth, one in the east and one in the west. 
Mm, no, I don't know. This is we will go to the book you like, Al Kilani, Al, Al Kafi. Guys, Al Kafi is the same as Al Bukhari for the, for for the Sunni. Is the same for the Shia. So Al Kafi is the same as you are reading from Al Bukhari for the Shia. It is not uh, entirely the same, but close, as I no, no, know. No, I mean, the same as, uh, because, as, uh, value, as value. I'm not uh, saying it's the same book. I'm saying it's a, as a value. The, the Sunni consider Al Bukhari the most accurate. The Shia consider Al Kafi the most uh, uh, to be trusted. Uh, yes okay that's true yeah and then let us see here let us see if we can find this hadith hold on okay وَإِنَّ لَلَّهِ مَدِينَتَيْنِ إِحْدَاهُمَا بِالْمَشْرِقِ وَالْأُخْرَى بِالْمَغْرِبِ Allah he have two cities one in the east and one in the west mm -hmm. around them there is a fence from iron and in every one city there's a, a thousand thousand door and every city have seventy thousand thousand language and all speak the languages the uh, uh, uh with the uh, like uh, everybody in the everybody inside the city he speak different language from the other person and he said and i know all the languages there What do you say? Wait, wait. Uh, again, uh, there are two. This is the Hassan. Hassan on this, Salam, on this Hassan. earth, two cities. Okay. One in the west, one in the east, and then uh, there is there is a there is a fence made from iron, and every uh, city have a thousand thousand door, and every uh, city have a seventy thousand thousand language, and every one of them. And every individual there he speak language different from the other person and he said al hassan and ana wa ana a'rifu jami'a al-lughat wa ma fihuma wa ma baynahuma and i know all the languages for those two cities and even what is between them <laughs> so what do you think about this uh, uh, wisdom do you really believe al hassan al, al hassan he knows all the languages of those cities which is a thousand thousand language, seventy thousand thousand language. Not here like translation. What do you think? Mm. But there's two cities. Where is that? Like meant one city on the earth, east, or one city, yeah, in the earth. But we nobody knows where. <clears throat> uh, you know, yeah, fabrication, stupidity. Because speaking to naive people at that time, and people they it only them. says uh, it only says two cities. Uh, God, no, Allah has two cities. cities. Allah has two cities. One of them in the Mashriq, which means in the east, and the other one in the west, not Morocco. This is stupid translation. Yeah, yeah, Maghreb, okay. Maghreb. in the west. <clears throat> they have right. a, a, a wall made of iron, and each of them has a, a thousand thousand door. And every one of them have seventy thousand thousand languages, not thousand language. I know all the languages in it and what is between those two cities. So the whole language of the words, Al Hussein, Al Hassan, he know it. What do you say? Mm, yeah, this uh, this one uh, reminds me of uh, another. Like someone uh, asked. Uh, Imam Al Hussein, uh, how many, uh, how many uh, hair do I uh, do I have? And then he. Uh, I can I can answer your question easy. This is easy. Ask, ask me the question. How many hair you have? I he know. knew. I know. He knew like how many. Uh, no, Imam Al Hussein know, said, I "Yeah, know, I know you have too. Tell me, ask me the same <laughs> question. Okay, you have four billion hair. Prove me wrong." <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many here I have? I mean, those stories obviously is nothing but fabrication. I mean, I feel sorry for the Shia. You know, I mean, they are naive people, deceived, and they believe that this is always true. I mean, isn't it? Always, <clears throat> this is really crazy. Well, I don't know. And like, there is a sheikh. Uh, they say uh, he is so knowledgeable. You know, uh, he has okay, listen. Uh, he has read all the Shia books, and he can he can. Uh, uh, debate everyone, you know, but who? Yeah, uh, who's that? But 
he doesn't uh, do that because yeah he says you know uh, let him know. come and debate me what about what about your prophet or your prophet he put his tongue inside the mouth of Hassan al Hussein sorry he told me about that last time yes mm. like he he fed him with the yeah, okay yeah this is al-kafi no not last time I told you about his finger last time the prophet he put his finger in the tongue of al Hussein and each time he suck his finger al Hussein do not need food for three days this <coughs> one in the book of Abraham right says uh, thumb or yeah uh, it's but yeah it's his finger. it doesn't matter a finger and then yes and, but here the prophet he put his tongue inside the mouth of al Hussein and he suck it he sucked the tongue of Hussein and he cut from it which means he like uh, uh, the the uh, al Hussein I think what they mean by here it's like the Hussein is uh, is fitted by the tongue of the prophet but just by sucking each, uh, each other tongues al Hussein he got his food what do you think what is it what is that this is in al kafi this is al kafi um i think in very number one let me let me try to find it hold on oh, yeah. praise to the internet then yeah we can find everything so easily huh? yeah well internet for sure if you want to find this uh if you want to find this in books, it's going to take forever to open pages and flip. Yeah, um, I don't, uh, I don't have them actually. Uh, Al Kafi is uh, six volumes that I know, and Bihar Al uh, Bihar Al Anwar is hundred or so. Yeah, very big. Uh, yeah, let us see where it says that. Okay, here we go. كان يؤتى بالحسين فيلقمه رسانه فيمصه فيجتزئ به ولم يرتضع من أنثى. Reference 38. Let's click at 38. Uh, 38 is راجع الكافي. You see the reference? الكافي. Page number 387. The book of Al Kafi, page number 387, and the book mm. of Al Manaqib, Li Ibn Shahar, Ashub, variant number 4, page number 50, and Al Bihar, variant number 43, page number 245, Tafsir uh, Nur al Thaqalain, page number 5, uh, sorry, variant number 5, page number 12, Tafsir al Burhan, the one you like, huh? page number 4, mm. uh, page number 173. It's not uh, that I uh, like it, but I mean, uh, they uh, have uh, okay, they have mean, taught me like this, this is, is all, uh, so I think all the great books I, of the Shia. I use them, you know. Yeah, but, so, but me, this uh, means all the I great books know, of the yeah. Shia approve this story. Mm -hmm, yes, the prophet okay. he sucked the tongue of Al Hussein. Mm. What is that? Anyway, my friend, uh, I can't keep you for long. Thank you for calling, and maybe uh, maybe next time you will decide to leave Islam. I will leave it for you. I cannot push you harder. You know, it's up to you. You want to leave? You want to stay? It's up to you. Yeah. So what? You want to stay? You think you are staying for tonight, a Muslim? <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel sad. Like what? Yeah. Well, man, it's I mean, not well, right, but sad, I don't know say, what. Say uh, say what? I mean, uh, be honest with yourself. Is that something really you believe in? No. Okay. So what? Are you going to say I'm out of Islam today? Are you afraid to say it? I mean, everything you show, yeah, it is, it is uh, uh, true. Yeah. Okay. So, if I am saying the truth, it means Islam is false religion. So why you didn't say Islam is false? I am out. I, uh, 
Like, I don't know, man. I, uh, I just told you how many hair you I have. I feel sad. <laughs> don't feel sad. It's okay. I mean, every all of us we go through through things in our life, and uh, uh, a better uh, uh, you know uh, fix it than sorry forever. Now you can fix it. Just yeah, okay, but denounce yeah. them. Say I'm out of this cult. Okay, but yeah. Uh, uh, what then? Okay, but in this you case, like I hear there's this, not a wanna, single religion okay, hold on. Before, which I'm really convinced. We talk about I don't next, know. No, before you talk about next, uh, uh, did, you, <coughs> did you did you denounce Islam? Did you leave Islam? I don't know, man. I'm I'm scared of her. Like everything you show, it is it is true. I can't uh, deny it. Show it with uh, references and one of them is lying, either Muhammad or me. So which one we do? I showed you everything from their books. No, you are not lying. You are not lying. Okay, so Muhammad is lying. So why you don't say Muhammad is lying? I am out of Islam. I'm really I don't know. I'm so scared. They say if you if you leave Islam and then then what? Like, you will not get the seventy thousand version, seventy version. <laughs> oh, like no version. I wish for you for me. Punishment. Hassan. They say, yeah. There's no version are waiting for us. Neither me, neither you. It's a lie. Come on, say it. Be brave. Okay, let me think Are we out of Islam? I can tell you are out of Islam. Why you don't say it? I can tell. You just told me you are saying the truth. I'm scared of hell. What hell? hell? This is hell. Islam is hell. Obviously, it's a lie. You just said I am telling the truth. Obviously, there's the hell of Islam is a lie. So if you are scared from the hell of Islam, the hell of Islam doesn't exist. Islam itself is the hell if you stay there. Because you just agreed that this is a lie. What they are teaching, it can't be true. Yeah, okay, yeah, you show from a card. But you said that, yeah, I don't know, the, those uh, wisdoms you like, the real wisdoms, you said that uh, uh, they came uh, many, many years after. Najil Balaga and such you know, books. It doesn't matter if they, are, if they are said, if yeah. they are said by the leader of the Shia or they are fabrication. At the end of the day, you are believing in a false religion. Because if the God of Islam, he wanted to, to believe in those stories, why he allowed even those things to happen. Remember, we showed you the Quran saying that if Allah wants somebody to go astray, nobody can guide him, and nobody will go astray unless Allah wants him to go astray. So why Allah want you to go astray and follow the Shia or Sunni? Allah is a devil. So, are we out of Islam? Uh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, you're out of Islam? Uh, I think... So you are out of Islam. I mean, I don't believe in those things that you showed. So okay, so you are out of Islam. I'm so happy for you, uh, Hassan. That's a beautiful. You called me many times already, and now today you call me as a Muslim Shia. And today, uh, the end of the call is you are out of Islam. That's wonderful. Now you said you are afraid from hell. Well, for me as a Christian, I am not afraid of hell. I believe in the Messiah and I will be with him. Anytime feel free to call me. And if you have anything you want to learn about the Messiah, I will be happy to help you. But right now, I invite you to read the Bible, the four Gospels of Jesus, and think deeply about the invitation I will give it to you now. There's no salvation except with the Messiah. And his, mess, his name is a great Wherever you go, even in the cult of Islam, Muhammad, he could not deny how great the Messiah is. And right now he is the living 
person in heaven for he is the word of God for he is a divine for he is our Lord our merciful and our salvation so I invite you to believe in him and you don't need to believe that the Messiah is God just because I said that to you go and read research study and look at the amazing teaching of Christ what do you say mm -hmm. I don't know man actually they are I, I don't know there uh, nothing makes uh, sense for me right now like there's not a single religion that makes sense yeah, Islam you, what, what uh, doesn't about, make uh, sense. Uh, sense Shia Sunni yeah, when you speak about sense, a sense depends a sense to who? Because for me, right now, like Christianity, Judaism, I have thought about Hinduism. Even uh, even atheism uh, doesn't it doesn't make sense for me. Like right now, I I don't know, man. Life doesn't make sense. It's it's all right. You see, I'll give you time. Go and read and research any time. Feel free, uh, uh, Hassan. If you like, you can call me any time, and I will be happy to help you. But why are there uh, so many like uh, Christians leaving Christianity and and there is so uh, many people I mean, so, yeah. so many Christians accepting Christianity where are there so many uh, leaving Christianity what do you mean atheist or uh, what I mean in the past like uh, what I uh, what I uh, live now like 60 60 percent are atheists. No, no um, it's not, that's not true. Yeah. Those numbers are false. It's, Those numbers it are used false. to be no, 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 no. You know, uh, you much know. less, like you, fifty do, years ago or seventy okay. years ago. Do, so. do you live in the state? Do you live in the state? No. Okay. If you live in the state, you can go every Sunday, and you will see you will not find a place to park your car when you go to uh, any any church. Our church is not only churches; they are mega churches, are huge. So Europe, I'm talking about Europe. It doesn't, Europe, Europe. They are, you know, they they, they became uh, more, uh, more into secular. This is why you don't see really Christian, but they are exist and they are in a huge number. But they are not aggressive people to force themselves to show here where we go. We are here, like when uh, when the church in France in Paris was was burned, tens of thousands appear in the street praying in the street. So where was the Christians before? Nobody saw them. But suddenly everybody see the Christians Christians are not like Muslims they don't go pray in the street to show themselves they are all over but we don't we are not hypocrite so if you think that Europe became not a Christian I think this is a very wrong uh, idea about Europe no no uh, I mean like they have uh, uh, decreased for uh, example is, uh, uh, 50 freedom, years ago always, their, our friend, uh, always, always a freedom the, always a freedom like freedom freedom I, I prefer a freedom where nobody stay hypocrite and nobody stay saying I'm a Muslim or a Christian or I'm a communist. You see, in the in, in China, nobody dare to say he is not a communist. Correct? Mm -hmm. and there is many Christians and there is many Muslims, but nobody dare to say I am not a communist. No. Uh, uh, same in the Saudi Arabia. There is many atheists. There is many gays. There is many lesbians. There is many Christians. There is many, but nobody dare to say I'm not a Muslim. So, so yes, they say that uh, hundred percent is Muslim, but right. I don't believe that. I think that's no impossible. So, so freedom, I don't care really how many Christians there is, how many I don't care how many Muslim there is. Freedom is good because a freedom can leave no hypocrisy. That's true. Yes, but I don't know. Maybe I have watched uh, also the, uh, secondly, too much se secondly, videos. Let us say let us say that all the world became atheist or uh, Muslim. And I am not I'm the only Christian that will not make me wrong mm, yes this is not a, I yeah. agree. right now we are the the, the biggest uh, uh, believe in this earth as a Christians by number the biggest at all that will not prove mm. that the Christianity is right still so number doesn't mean nothing number mean nothing what, if, what I agree but I mean of Jesus, no, I don't know I've, in the time of Jesus example, there was only 12 uh, apostles hmm? only 12 Jesus and 12 apostles does that mean Jesus was wrong no so this is not really what make you make believe wrong or right it is the belief itself the value of it and the proof of it 
if it is true it's true it's not it's not no matter how many people believe in it or not sure sure but uh, uh, i mean like leaving or crit uh, criticizing for example i watched uh, a guy who his name is uh bart ehrman and i don't know <laughs> maybe yeah and i, I can refute him either. you know that guy yeah i know him he can refute like, him. i saw and, a, even, a even debate one, uh, between one, him and yeah, uh, even, james white even about this one, uh, he, he brought nothing uh, you know he says to us you know, the Bi the bible is improved by time why because uh, uh, and that's a positive for him the Bible is not a perfect book but that's that's stupid to say the the Bible translation improved by time uh, because we discover more and more manuscript so mm -hmm. that will not is, is working in the opposite direction for negative it's positive all the improvement happen in one direction proving everything Christianity teach not the opposite like if you find something a new manuscript saying the opposite of what we found before then that will be a problem but what we found confirm what we found before so the new find is the same as the old find nothing changed so his argument is very uh, silly but you know uh, 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 people they are free as I said uh, people are free to make any argument and there is you use your brain and your mind and you make a decision who is the one makes sense for you you know you left yeah, Islam, sure, the, you left Islam well, now, yeah. but you know you are free to to believe or not to believe. Mm, yes, yeah, I don't know, man. So, yeah. Anyway, my friend, feel free anytime if you want to call me. I will be happy to hear you. And we, we, for for now, I, I have to let you go. We are here for a while. Thank you for calling. Yes, yes. I'm happy that you left Islam already. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Hassan. Take care. Yes. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Allah. All right. Well, I'm I'm glad at least for Hassan that he decided to leave Islam, and I hope sooner or later he will find the truth and the truth will set him free. Again, believe is a is a personal matter, and it's not something uh, uh, you know. You see, I'm not, I'm not believing in Jesus because uh, uh, what makes sense as much it is. Uh, there's things in Christianity same as an atheism same as in many it doesn't make sense and and same as in Islam as an example Jesus is a son of a virgin okay it doesn't make sense if you are a Muslim even though Muslim believe in that but it doesn't make sense I mean why how but if you are a Christian right away you will notice that in Christianity only that makes sense because he is and the Christian believe he is a son of God so it doesn't make sense that he is a prophet. He is a son of the virgin. That's weird. What for? I mean, he can still be a prophet without being a son of a virgin. What's the point of this? And this miracle, nobody can prove. My mother, can she claim that she gave me birth? She gave birth to me and she was a virgin. Nobody can prove her wrong. So what's the point of this, uh, this, uh, this statement? So there is things in belief. It doesn't make sense unless you understand the belief, unless you are from that point of that belief. Same time, uh, for an atheist saying that Jesus is born of a virgin is a foolishness that's crazy that's stupid that's etc but because he's an atheist and for me he is the one saying foolish stuff too like the atheist they accepted Darwin to be their master when Darwin is a stupid fool a racist he captured a black man he put him in the cage to prove that monkeys are coming from the black race that is foolish so for him he think Christianity is foolish for me I believe that not only his belief is foolish it is dangerous it is racist a Muslim he believed that Mary she would give birth but she is a virgin but she cannot explain to us why what the point of this verse that doesn't make sense why we don't know the Muslim they worship Allah why because Allah he says I'm God worship me so what I'm I, okay I'm going to say I'm God worship me here we go there's no proofs the Quran is full of errors full of contradiction stupid teaching and then somebody says to me I am God worship me and then I'm going to worship him just because and not only that this God he never spoke to us the God of Islam is a mute God 
Never say the word. So how we can believe? And believe in what? Believe in a God we never met, we never saw, we never heard of? Believe in God who told us that if you kiss a black stone, that will forgive your sin? Believe in God who do not know how the earth is created? He, he says crazy stuff in his Quran? So there's things it's it's important to make sense and this is like a basic logic and there's things above making like like let's say believe like we as a Christian we believe in miracles do miracles make sense no miracles don't does not make sense there's nothing is called miracle does make sense this is why we call it miracle but where is the miracle of Muhammad the Muslim they say to us Muhammad he split the moon even the Quran never said that it says the judgment day is near and the moon is split which means the one who is writing reporting something happened at that time supposedly the moon is split it doesn't say that Muhammad split anything and then it says the judgment day is near sight but judgment day never come and this is 1400 years ago so even that information was wrong because you just claim that the judgment day started and this is the sign of the moon splitting it is a false prophecy and that make the Quran does not make sense. You're telling me judgment day is near and the moon is split asunder, and the moon now is not split no more. What you change your mind? You wanted to make it a sign for judgment day, and now this moon is not split. And 1400 years ago, still it's a sign of a judgment day. So, and then the Muslims, in order to fabricate stories to make you believe in stories, they start making uh, books, articles videos that the Quran is full of science and we get all their science busted what makes sense in Islam so we, not, we need to make it clear that there's many things does not make sense in our life even when you speak about science when somebody speak about the Big Bang the Big Bang for me does not make sense and it does not make sense for many scientists not for me only not every scientist believe in the Big Bang bank it's a theory so it is okay to have a belief of, uh, like I say, to say something does not make sense to me. But doesn't mean that what does not make sense to you, it is wrong. As an example, if I say to somebody, 300 years ago, uh, time will come and people, they can have something in their pocket, they open it, they push the bombs, and they can talk to somebody in China. They will laugh at me. They will say to me, that does not make sense. All right? If I say to someone that time will come and somebody can speak from uh, Tokyo and we can see him in New York, we can see his picture in New York, they will laugh at me. That does not make sense. So what makes sense or make not sense is depend. Depend on the time you say it and depend on the time it's happening. So there's things we say and there's things happened. People, they believe in what happened and what is not happening, it does not make sense to them. And that was what is atheism is about. However, the atheists, they go farther in their fantasy. They believe in something not happened to be happened, as an example, the Big Bang, because there's no proof of it. It's a theory. Nobody witnessed it. Nobody saw it. Nobody was there. And they cannot make the Big Bang happen again. If the Big Bang is something possible, well, we can do it then in the laboratory. And actually, they make a machine, I think in Finland or Sweden, uh, for the for the Big Bang. They spent billions of dollars. And they could not come with any result. They wasted the money. So, believing in something or disbelieving is a healthy thing. But when you believe in stupid stuff, it is not healthy. And I see that Islam is teaching nothing but stupid things. I saw nothing in Islam worth to believe in. Like God, he want to give me a lot of naked women in the heaven. Why? Because I believe in him. That is not, that not only does not make sense, that's that's satanic. That's evil. 80,000 little boys will be in my house to serve me. That is not, doesn't make sense only. That's satanic because this is a child abuse. So how I am seeking a better attitude in life 
to be better me tomorrow to be in heaven yet in the heaven I have a lot of abuse I will do for people who will be under my command right so here what makes sense is important in the field of uh, let us say uh, the logic of good and bad what kind of God he want to give me a lot of women I will see their bones I will see the marrow of their bones and I will have sex with them that not only doesn't make sense this is stupid what kind of God he promised me in this private part that's funny and stupid so my wife is next to me but my private part in China so what I will do now you, you turn so there is things when we say it does not make sense not necessarily what does not make sense can be wrong and as we give you example about like a radio waves pictures uh, phone you know if you speak about it three four hundred years ago people will laugh at you it doesn't make sense and they will they will think you are crazy but there's things that does not make sense not only because it does not make sense because it is evil and ugly like promising me 80,000 little boys to serve me in the heaven you know I cannot be happy without having 80,000 little boys in my house to serve me so in order to be happy Allah will enslave little tiny children's 80,000 of them to make me happy so you will make 80,000 miserable servant for eternity to make one person happy You know what I mean, Muslims? So what makes sense and what does not make sense? When a, when a person, he says to me, he went to the top of the seven heaven and he found a tree and he found under the tree where is the rivers of Euphrates and the Nile River coming from heaven. And then he says to me that he was up in the sky. Well, that not only does not make sense, that's proving that he is a liar. You see, I can say things does not make sense about understanding the universe because I am limited as a human being and I do not know really. You know, I can say to you, like, let us say somebody he thinks the earth is a flat. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he, I, I, I give him excuse because uh, he, he is not capable of seeing the earth from far away to see how it looked like. I understand. But somebody claimed that he went to heaven, he went to the sky. The seventh sky, not only in the sky, like the end of the, the world. And then he found in the sky the Nile River and the Euphrates and Shihan and Jihan. And those are rivers of paradise. Not only this does not make sense, it's a proven to me that he is a liar. So there is a huge difference between believing in things make sense or not. And, and believing in lies obvious lies a prophet who claimed that he, he was a very weak in sexual relationship and then God he sent him a dish of kebab he ate it and he got the power of 40 men this is not only does not make sense this is stupid because how the Muslim they say to us that if Allah wants something to happen he say B is going to be is going to happen and then Allah in order to, to fix the, the private part of Muhammad he have to have to cook and send the cook with the with the angel pizza delivery Allah he knows everything but Allah he know nothing at the same time read the Quran and love and this is why we welcome Muslims to debate us and to challenge us live on air and I challenge you to show me how you say okay Allah he said I am God worship me okay so is that a reason to worship him? Maybe he doesn't even exist. Who is the one who says, I am Allah, worship me? Allah? Have you heard him? So look at this religion. One guy, no witnesses. His name is Muhammad. He never saw Allah. He never heard Allah. He witnessed to Allah. And nobody witnessed to him. 
and yet we have to believe in him the Quran says in a silly case as writing and writing uh, like borrowing money we have to get at least two witnesses in the case of adultery we have to get four witnesses Just to prove adultery, we need four witnesses. To prove God and the prophethood, we have zero witnesses. Hmm? Which one is more important? And by the way, like the verse in the front of us about four witnesses for adultery, additionally prove that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Because he said, and excuse my language, the four witnesses, they have to see the private part of the male going in the private part of the female. That's impossible. So if a woman and man having sex, but yet they are covering themselves, even if you have four witnesses and they saw not that part going in and out, there's no proof. And if you accuse the man or the woman of, uh, of adultery in Islam, and you could not see that, the prophet will whip your back. He will punish you so imagine you enter your house you find your wife naked in the top of a man having sex with him now it's time for you to call your friends you have to find four friends and they have to come and they have to look and see the private part of the guy getting in and out and the guy will wait for you he will say call four friends call call four friends i will wait for you and when they come he do it slowly so they can see and they can witness so the requirement here is proving that Muhammad is not a prophet of God and cannot be from God because this is impossible. Are you going to enter your house with four friends always? And you go to the bedroom with your four friends? And when, if you go in the bedroom with four friends, if they did not see that part, they saw nothing still. Even if they go to the court and say, hey, we saw him naked, we saw, we saw him naked. Actually, there's a hadith about the prophet. He whipped three guys. He did lash them. And one of them, he said, that I saw her legs, her foot around his neck like the ears of a, of a donkey. So the women, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they are doing it. And he was shaking her so hard. And her foot is around his neck. Still, this is not enough for Muhammad. And he did lash him for he did not give enough proof. So how we can prove adultery in Islam? Proving adultery in Islam is extremely impossible, the same as proving Muhammad to be a prophet. No witnesses, nothing. Okay, Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven 11. Any witnesses? No. Muhammad, he saw the angel Jibreel, and Jibreel gave him Quran. Any witnesses? No. Even the prophet wife's wife, she was accused of adultery. Muhammad, he changed the law from two witnesses to four witnesses just for his sake. So what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? No proof. And what is the prophecy of Muhammad? The Muslim, they come with tons of fun, funny prophecies. As an example, they say to you, the prophet, he prophesied that the Roman, they will win the war in a few years. But this prophecy, he received it after they won, not after uh, before. Read it. On the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believer were pleased with that. Then the following revealed Alif Lamin, the Roman have been defeated up to his sin, and they will be victorious. And the believers will be happy. So even this fabrication is a lie. The date is a lie. The, the prophecy is false. And the hadith proving all of this fabrication to be not true. Imagine I prophesy for you about Trump will be president in 2016, but already we are 2019. Have you ever heard of somebody receive a prophecy after it happened? That's Muhammad.
that is Muhammad today is Wednesday 22nd tomorrow and the day after I'm going to take a break from going live on air so we will go back in a Friday if you don't mind guys because I'm getting really a headache from speaking for long it's too much every day every day so I will take two days break uh, uh, and we will be back on Friday all right and please don't forget to subscribe and join us uh, when we go live on air and keep uh, uh, keep your activation I mean your notification on so you can receive and always you can if you if you like uh, you have a video and you lost it you can go to patreon and you will find the updated link which means before I delete the video here in my page I post in my patreon a link of one of you who posted my video on his channel all right and don't forget to subscribe to those who they are posting my videos again somewhere and give them thanks all right so we are happy today that uh, today our time was not wasted. We have Mr. Hassan, who is a Shia. He decided to leave Islam. And actually, the Lord is blessing us with many Muslims leaving Islam every day. There is some they call life on air and they leave Islam. And there's many, they don't want to be life on air. And I speak to them and they leave Islam. And you know, I understand why, because many of them, they are sh uh, like, uh, they are afraid like now, I, I believe uh, 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 Hassan, he was afraid to say he is out of Islam because Islam is a gang religion. He will be worried about his uh, his safety, you know. So we pray that he will be fine and nobody will harm him in any way, regardless if he became a Christian or not. We don't want anyone to be harmed. And uh, uh, one of the proofs, actually, that Islam is a very bad cult is the violence. Violence is a very clear proof of weakness. And somebody don't want to be a Muslim. Why you want to kill him? They say to us that Islam bring no compulsion in, in, in religion, which is an abrogated verse, is not a true, and it's a fabrication. They quote for us something you do not know that the Quran have something called abrogation, which means those verses are not valid no more, not valid. Say so they quote for you a verse which Muhammad, when he was weak, Muhammad is a diplomat, the same as Erdogan. Erdogan, when he before he was elected, he signed a paper says, "My party will never talk about religion. My party is not religious. My party have nothing to do with Islam. My party is a liberal. My party is an atheist." The second he won the election, he threw out all of those who were forcing different agenda. And right away he says we are Muslims so when he was weak he signed any paper they want anything he is not a Muslim he will not practice Islam he made a promise his party is liberal his party is an atheist his party far away from Islam and the second they took over the country nobody can win again and when he lost the election in Istanbul he asked for redoing election again which means you will never win with him. Each time you win somewhere, he will say, we will redo it again until he corrupt the election and he is the only winner. That's exactly the Islamic you know, gang system. And since Muhammad, he took over with his party in the Middle East, who can throw him away? Since the, the, the mullahs in Iran took this, you know, they, they say, look, and look how, how funny the Islamic cult work. They say to you as an example, in Iran, we have democracy. We have election. But they will not tell you that election in Iran is election for a bunch of mullahs. There's a five, six mullahs. The big mullah, he elect them. He chose, okay, you can go. You can go. You can go. Anyone is not from the mullahs, their gang, he will not be in the election. So where is the freedom? So whoever you choose, you choose what the mullah, the big mullah choose already. So the big mullah, he says, okay, Rouhani, you can be a uh, 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 go for election so people can elect you. Uh, Ahmad Mirza, uh, uh, what is name the guy uh, the funny guy the, the one who said uh, Iran have, have zero gays Ahmadinejad so the big mullah the big sheikh he choose a bunch of guys from his own gang organization Islamic organization and they say to the population you have to choose one of those and supposedly this is democracy
This is how they try to fool us by the democracy of Allah and his religion. That is not the democracy and have nothing to do with it. And if you take your hijab off, they beat you, they take you to jail. If you say, I don't want to be a Muslim, they execute you. Yet they have they, they claim that they have democracy. Just the, three days ago, uh, 50 or 60 women, they were having like a fashion, uh, whatever thing, occasion. They arrest them all for fashion. Anyway, if, if women cannot do fashion, who is going to do fashion? Well, that's the enemy of Allah, fashion. The enemy of Allah, Allah himself will, be, will die from fashion. And those poor women, like they are not showing their uh, panties. I mean, it's not a fashion for bikini. Uh, you know, it's, it's normal clothes. They arrest them. A woman, she is singing in the street, like in Saudi Arabia. A little girl, she is 17, 16 years old. She sang a song when she was on a trip, uh, taking a selfie. The whole country went up as if she is the biggest criminal ever on earth. Those people still live in the cave time. And all of this due to Islam. Islam make them live in the cave time. What the woman she did? She sang a song. She danced in the front of the camera. She is not naked. But it's haram. It's haram. If you open their TV, you see nothing but Billy dancing. Go. Open the month of Ramadan, all the movies, naked people. So movies is okay, but your women, they cannot. This is why when Muslim women, they go overseas, they do anything. They do everything because they are, you know, it's like somebody who was in jail for 20 years. And then he never saw a woman. And then you open the door for him. And suddenly in front of him, there is many women almost wearing nothing. What he would do? He would be like an animal. He will act like one. So... They put them in jail. You cannot do this. This is haram. This is forbidden. This is, but everything is done under the table. In the month of Ramadan, as we speak now, you go to Thailand, you go to Philippines, you go to all those countries, you will find nothing but Saudi going there. Nobody in Saudi Arabia. In the month of Ramadan, the whole country is abroad because nobody want to practice Ramadan. They want to go drink. They want to do prostitution. They want to see dancing. They want to do music. They want to have beer. They want to have whiskey. But they cannot do it in their country, so they do it in different country. Actually, when I was in Asia, I was surprised that those hookers, they speak Arabic. Because they come to me and they say to me, Hello, Habibi. And they speak to me in Arabic, What do you like, Habibi? And I was, how oh, she speak Arabic? <laughs> yeah, but but all the customers are Arab. The customers are Arab. They knew Arabic better than any language. The night, the night clubs. That's everything. You know, it's and the funny you will find a restaurant says halal food, and next to it there's night night club. Halal food next to night club. I mean, the buyer obviously he care for halal. Yes, they care for halal food. They want to eat halal food and they want to do halal prostitution. So there's things make sense, and there's things does not make sense. Islam not only does not make sense. Islam is crazy violent cult and always be careful from what they say to you about what's right and what's wrong especially those liberals who try always to present Islam as a good religion they speak of what they don't know and many of them they take the side of Islam just because as a, you are a Christian you are conservative Okay, we will believe in whatever you believe against you. You like the cross? We will take it down. You like the Bible? We will we will take it from the hotels. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you don't like Islam? We will support Islam. This is the whole idea of the, and the agenda of the liberals and the, and and the, and those like in America, like Democrat. They are against anything you believe in. Anything. It doesn't matter what it is. 
if you say Islam is good, they will say Islam is wrong. So don't let them fool you and don't let them deceive you. This world is full of deception, TV stations, news, propaganda, agenda, parties, politician, everybody lying at everybody. It is a competition of lying. Who want to lie more? And the naive one are the victims. Who would like to lie more? And if you say the truth, they accuse you of Islamophobia. They, they say you are a hate monger. They will say, the second you say the truth. All right? So anyway, I hope today it was good for you. Those who like to cut and paste uh, the, the videos in their channel, don't forget to download the video right away. Especially today we have a good event of uh, uh, Mr. Hassan. He decided he's a Shia. He decided to leave Islam. It was a good day for him. And we pray that the Lord, he will guide him and he will show him the right place to be in. And I hope that soon uh, he will come to a conclusion in whatever make him uh, you know, feel better. If it's not a Christianity, then it's not a Christianity. So still I will pray for you that I pray that the Lord will guide you and will bring you to peace and you will find happiness in your life whatever the happiness is all right if it's not a christianity let it be but we want you to be happy and god he love everybody so i advise you to be with the, by, with the one who loves you not the one who want you to love him and the return it will give you some women our lord he loves you as you are for he made you the way you are all what he is asking you for he said knock at my door and I will open for you that's all knock at my door and his door is always ready to be open for you thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again remember I will take two days off tomorrow and the day after and I will be back in Friday same time 3 30 p.m. and maybe in the weekend we'll do it uh, two but earlier so those who live in Asia they can join us thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false see you soon